talk to you guys about reefing success. Uh, tank parameters are what is ideal for keeping coral, and it's one of the, um, I guess, beginnings for everyone else in the hobby. They just want to start off. It's a simple way: get your water levels and parameters in order and in line, and then your tank should have success. That's what they tell you, right? So that's what you're going to go by. Um, before I get into that and your water parameters, I just wanted to let you know um, I am here for all you beginners. Those of you who have been in the hobby, I know I get a lot of um, reefing guys who are experts, but I want to start helping the beginners more. So those of you who do have questions that are new to this channel, feel free to ask, um, and I will do my best to help you and get back to you as soon as I can. So one of the things beginners always have questions with is their tank parameters. And one of the ways to know that your parameters are going to be spot on is to know your calculator, your reefing calculator. So I tell people, your bio load is going to add, if you have a lot of fish and you're feeding your corals, that's going to add to your bio load, nitrates, phosphates. So if you don't have an established reef, it's going to feel weird because your bio load is going to be way off. Your beneficial bacteria is not going to be up to par with what you need to run a successful reef. So in the beginning, you really need to pay attention to this, okay? So if you're starting off and you're buying equipment and you got a reactor or a skimmer, okay, or you have a deep sand bed, those things are not gonna be running and working the way an established aquarium would. So a brand new deep sand bed is not gonna have the beneficial bacteria. So as your tank matures, you will learn a lot more about reading your system. And that's something that comes with time and those of you who are beginners, you're not going to have this talent and that's probably why you're watching this video because you need help. So as I'm talking and you may be staring at this and looking at my handwriting, um, you may see that this is just, you know, written on here as an example. This isn't 100% what I want you guys to go home and follow. So it just shows you that a bio load adds, a reactor or skimmer will take away, um, also corals growing with the feeding so if you're talking about not just nitrates and phosphates but also calcium and your alkalinity if you have a lot of plate corals and you have a lot of montes this is going to change very quickly i notice when i'm dosing calcium and, and i'm fragging on days that i cut up all those montes and acros it really drops my calcium and alkalinity those corals are trying to heal they're in an accelerated growth rate so it, it is something to really pay attention to. So I, I wasn't going to go into talking too long today. I really just wanted you guys to know um, a simple thing like this reefing calculator. I am going to make a more finalized um, uh, version of this, you know, so you guys can go through a checklist so you can help yourself out. Because if you're thinking about going out and buying new equipment, you could go down your checklist, see do you need that? Is it worth the 400 bucks? Um, you know, do you want a refugium or you want to go with just a reactor, something like external in your tank? So it can really help you out a lot. But Reefing Success Calculator, it's based on your tank parameters. It's based on things being removed. I have over here even water evap. Your salinity can increase in smaller tanks like a nano. So having an auto top off can also help correct this. Salinity is super important. Concentrations go up, especially. Um, more rapidly in the smaller the tank, like a nano, desktop, aquariums, anything without a sump or less water. So know your system. Know what's coming in. Know what you're putting in. Know the age of your aquarium, how established it is. Your bio load is all going to react accordingly to that. So yes, um, I'll have to put in some pictures of video here because I've literally been standing in front of this sign for about four minutes already. But know your tanks. It takes a while, your equipment, a lot of people jump into things and they just don't know what they're doing. And I feel bad because they spend a ton of money before they actually um, get where they want to get. So you, they'll, they'll have equipment sitting somewhere and then you see them trying to resell it or something, which is great. I, I'm all for taking care of um, reusing equipment and sharing in the hobby and you know upgrading all the time. So there you guys go. That's just a quick, quick video on the reefing calculator. I know I was going to talk about um, cleanup crews and, and all kinds of stuff like that. Look at my shrimp. He's in there cleaning that fish, which is super awesome. That's the cleaning station. 
So I wanted to go and discuss the whole cleanup crew for you guys. But like I said, I'll do that another day. Um, I'm gonna go into starfish and shrimp and the tangs and which fish that you need in your aquarium to have successful reef. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. thumbs up and share with a friend and thank you for being part of the Coralus community.